G. Mangione's defense attorney, Thomas Dickey. Mr. Dickey, thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, are you standing by yeah. that statement that you've seen thank zero you. evidence tying Mangione to the murder? Uh, that's correct. Uh, the only, uh, we had a brief hearing yesterday, um, and uh, there was one document, uh, the, an arrest warrant uh, from the state of New York, which merely referenced a statute. We see no evidence. Uh, that's one of the many reasons why we're um, uh, challenging the extradition at this point, so we can uh, see some evidence and get a little more detailed information about the uh, charges against uh, Luigi. What about the gun? What about the writings? Well, uh, as I indicated yesterday, uh, I have not been made aware of any evidence that links the gun uh, that was found uh, uh, on his person uh, to this alleged, uh, to the crime. Um, so uh, th these are things that we're, we're looking to see. And uh, yesterday was fast the day. Um, today's another day. We're looking forward to uh, beginning our inquiry uh, as to uh, what evidence uh, may or may not be out there. Gun looks exactly the same as the one that was used. Well, I mean, a lot of guns look the same. I mean, uh, uh, if you brought a gun in and say, well, it looks like that, I, uh, I don't even know if that evidence would be admissible. And if so, I would argue that it wouldn't be given much weight. Uh, that's why they do ballistic tests, uh, ballistics examination, a test of all that to try to match that. Trust me, they're going to try to match that firearm uh, to uh, the incident uh, by more than just, well, it looks like that. What about the writings? These parasites had it coming, talking about the healthcare industry, corruption, and greed. That is all evidence, isn't it? Well, well, uh, I mean, certainly it, it could be. I haven't seen any of that yet. Um, you know, one of the rules of evidence is there's a rule of completeness, so you have to take any writing or any document in its entirety because some things can be taken out of taken out of context. So again, these are exactly the things that I'm looking to get my hands on. I'm hoping that we can get that maybe even as early as today. Um, so uh, again, I, I really can't comment on something that I haven't seen uh, in its totality. How about the fake ID? Same one used at the hostel. Well, again, it, whether or not that's a match to that, these are things I, I, I need to find out. I need to examine things. You know, people put out certain things and parts of the different things, but I think any lawyer involved in this situation would, would, want, to, would want to see it all. Did Mangione tell you he didn't do it? Uh, I would never reveal any conversation uh, between my client that would not be proper. Uh, there's an attorney-client privilege, and I, uh, I, I cannot and would not ever comment on that. Mr. Dickey, thank you for your time this morning. Uh, thank you very much. Good morning. Michael? All right, thank you, George.